Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to day two, National Institute of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. Uh, YouTube recap. Um, today I'm gonna be going over all the stuff of day two here at the NIH in my hotel room. Um, today was a long day, but very interesting day. Um, so last night, we had to fast from 8 p.m. till this morning. No food, just water. And we ate dinner last night at Rock Bottom. Um, it was good food, had a couple beers. We ate all the way up until 8.30, or I mean 8.30, 8 o'clock. Um, and then went to bed, tried to get some sleep. Uh, probably got like six hours of sleep. So running around nine hours of sleep for uh, two days, but hey, you know, it's part of the process of getting used to the, the jet lag and the different time zones from East Coast and West Coast. Um, so this morning, Kelsey and I started out with blood work. Um, there was, let me see, let me, let me try to bring up this photo for you guys and just show you on camera. Um, there was something like 26 vials of blood, and let me just like hold this up to the camera for you guys. Hopefully it focuses on, on it. So that's all the blood that we had to do. Um, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 vials of blood. Um, I know that in the past when I've gotten blood work done, if I get anything more than like four or five vials, I get lightheaded and I feel like I'm gonna pass out. So they offered if I could lay down and I was like, absolutely, I wanna lay down, that's, that's awesome. Um, she, the, the lady was so much fun this morning. Um, she was from India, but she had worked as, uh, you know, phlebotomy, I think that's what it's called, do, giving, doing blood work uh, at the NIH for 12 years. And she used a butterfly on me that has um, a long cord, and she was calling me a baby and stuff like that. Um, so I, did, I gave 26 vials of blood, and it was interesting. Had to lay down afterwards, drink some apple juice, um, and so that's that that's the blood work um, which I'm glad it's over but I don't mind giving blood it's part of the process um, and then let me see what was the rest of my day like so after blood work today let's see where was it there we go um, I did a skin biopsy um, so what they did is they inject lidocaine underneath your skin um, they use like this hole punch and they kind of take two pieces of skin and then they send them off to MIT and Harvard up in Boston. It's like um, there's a doctor, I forgot his name, but he's doing this crazy study that he's been doing it for such a long time. And one of the doctors was telling me that he's like so knowledgeable with um, X and Y chromosomal variations. So maybe hopefully one day I get to meet this, this doctor. Um, and then I had a taxi pick me up at 9.15 and I went over to another building off campus um, where I did a sperm um, donation or sperm collection. I've never done that before and uh, it was really interesting. It was totally awkward and kind of just weird. Um, if you check my social media, I made some posts about it, and uh, yeah, it was just, it was different. Um, that, that's about it, but you know, all in, we're doing this all in good for, you know, for health and all this crazy stuff, so I got that done, you know, it was pretty quick, and yeah, um, that's, the, that's that. And then um, I had a heart ultrasound afterwards, I went back to the hospital, um, had a heart ultrasound, had laid on my side, and they did, they hooked up some, some cords to me to check my heart rate while they're doing the ultrasound, and he was looking at my valves and all that stuff, taking pictures, and he was producing GIFs, basically, um, short video clips with sound. Um, after I did that, I had lunch at the cafeteria, and then I had a neuropsych exam, like IQ, neurological stuff, all, it was like a four hour test. Um, it was a compilation of playing with blocks, 
that were different colors and making shapes, um, putting sequences of um, stories that are pictures that have emotions on them um, in order. Uh, there was some written tests, some shapes, some time stuff, um, some math that was, I totally forgot how to do long division. And I also forgot how to do like 864 times 37. Um, the basic stuff that, hey, it's not so basic anymore, obviously. Um, so that was my day today. It was uh, a little less medical. The morning started out definitely uh, interesting as far as all the blood work goes and all that stuff. But meeting these people here and being a part of this and thinking about just being a part of such a bigger world and uh, such a bigger purpose is so cool, so awesome. This is an experience that I'm gonna carry with me the rest of my life. Um, and I'm trying to enjoy every single minute of it. If you are coming to the NIH for a study, um, whether it's a positive study or a negative study or whatever it is, all I ask you is that you enjoy yourself here and make the most of your situation. Meet these rad people that are dedicating their lives to research and um, you know, there's conspiracies out there, but don't let those conspiracies ruin your time. Um, and don't let those conspiracies prevent you from see, like giving back and being a part of these studies. It's so awesome. It's so cool. Um, so yeah, that's that. That's today's video. Hope all you guys enjoy it. Watch it. You know, I'm trying to be as real as possible. I'm trying to add some fun twist and flair to this video. Um, it's kind of boring listening to somebody talk about, um, you know, their medical examinations and how they went, but I hope this helps all of you out there. Um, and like I said in the last video, go to government or go to clinicaltrials.gov. I'll put it in the link below and type in whatever you've got with, with your syndrome or disease or um, genetic disorder and a study will pop up um, somewhere in the United States, whether it's here at the NIH, it'll pop up here or it'll pop up somewhere in the world. Um, go be a part of something bigger. And hopefully all you guys enjoy. Have a great day. Bye from Maryland.